Hello YouTube and welcome back to Glam Force Play Satisfactory. We are continuing right where we left off. We have managed to pick up enough uh, resources. We have automated actually the production or semi-automated the production of our iron plates. Uh, and now we will be doing, uh, picking up the copper and manually upgrading all the way until hub upgrade three when we can get the conveyor belts in place so that we can do actually some more serious automation. There we go. Hello, grab, thank you, and let's get out of here. Sun is rising on this beautiful desert oasis, and we do have some flows, so we will be doing some exploration, of course, as well. But uh, first things first, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We should ultimately start and make the production as early as possible and as good as possible so those things being said i'm gonna just try and see okay now i will need some iron plates still you are still producing we have no more iron ore yes we do have more iron ore and you have produced 99 ingots thank you which means you have produced 39 plates, which means that I have enough. Uh, but do keep continue producing plates, please. So plates, we have enough. Uh, there we go, plates. And then we need just reinforced iron plates. And for that, I'm afraid I will need more iron ingots. So 15 iron ingots, I think that's okay. Because I can make then iron rods. And which will allow me to make screws, which will allow me to make reinforced iron plates, which I will need. There we go. Reinforced iron plates, where are you? There are you. And let's upgrade to the tier three. New buildings, new parts, and player upgraded. And that's conveyor poles, foundations, and all that jazz. So, that thing being said... Caution. Overloading the power network guarantees suboptimal performance. Did I get another? No, I did not. Okay, yes, I know that. Um, first things first, conveyor belt. You two, connect. Thank you. And then I only have to worry about you being topped up, which is not really that much of a problem per se. All right, grab all and you grab all and then we top you up. And when it comes to the power consumption, uh, we are capacity 20 and we're consuming 8, which means we could do the same long-term looking for the, for the copper in terms of making cables. How much limestone do I have? I have enough limestone. Okay, then I need to make concrete to be able to advance further and I should queue up ultimately. I should queue up the next milestone. Right, so we need 20 concrete, but that's achievable, I would say. And it's wanting me to ramp up the production on the rods. Concrete, okay, let's, uh, let's meet that demand actually head on so that we are done with it. Uh, then when it comes to copper ingot, that will take a while, but I'm thinking actually I should meet the cable requirement head on. That we're also done with it because I don't plan to automate cable building at the moment, but I'll need also some cables built. That being said, yes, I'll need a lot of cables. All right. And I'll need also how much cable is that? 41, that's enough. Copper ingots, iron ingots. I, okay, I could also make iron ingots, a lot of them. So, yes. 
There we go. And there we go. So if I wanted to make additional uh, smelter and a constructor what do I need I need the following recipes that's good enough along with some additional plates for the conveyor belts but I don't think those should be the problem so what do I need I need iron rods I'll make some ingots for the rods I need five rods that's not really a big deal and then I need wire, which I have plenty of. Then I need reinforced iron plate. And that's something that I obviously will need. So iron plates, thank you very much for your collaboration. Now I need screws. Oh, I can make actually two iron plates. How many I need? I need three, okay. And I just need to make 24 screws more. That's good enough. Okay, then we have pretty much everything I need except for building the poles I'll need some wire I'll need some rods I'll need some rods extra so I actually might want to make some more extra rods and the guys I'm deliberately not making uh, more of um, more of the uh, constructors because I do want to go and automate copper but to be able to do that, I need to also head over there and get some concrete, make some concrete so that I can go over there, yeah. Because when we satisfy the next tier, we're gonna get the miners, and then with, that's when real automation starts to come into play. However, until we get there, we still have some ways to go. Namely, press E and grab all, and then do some concrete and then we're gonna build up some proper foundations and everything so that we can actually make our base nice and useful as opposed to chaotic mess that I typically build, tend to build but I mean for the time being let's just see that your production doesn't slew 55 I could actually do and grab this thank you and then grab this thank you then top you up I mean you'll need 100 plates so I'm not worried that you're gonna go get out of business anytime soon let's build concrete and then we need to build power poles uh, concrete Yes. There we go. Perfect. Now, we will need power poles somewhere here. There we go. Now, smelter. I'm thinking, can I actually afford to build concrete even? Because that would be perfect now. So if I want to turn them like that, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah they do. Perfect. Like that. And then like that. And then like that, and like that, and like that, like that, and like that. Okay, that's enough. So uh, if I want to do, we said production, smelter. We want you to snap, and we want you to snap nicely. So something like this would be very nice. Then we want a constructor. And we want you to be aligned, yes, and 
Well, this sounds like a reasonable proposition. Yes, and you are aligned and you are going from one into the other. That's just perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Now, do I have enough for one more power pole here? Because that, that one could be branching off to the miner later on as well. Yes. And then you are going here and you are going there. Perfect. So that's fixed and you shall be making copper ingot while you shall be making wire. And do I have some copper that I couldn't dump in you? I do. See, Everything's turn, everything turns out for the best. And we're going to grab some copper while we have some. So that will fix our and we are consuming 16 megawatts and how much power are you consuming so that i know four so that would equate to 20. so in theory if we wanted to really you know peak the consumption we could by making um, additional constructor for the oops sorry guys uh, additional constructor for the concrete And that might not be a bad idea per se. How much concrete do I have? 10, not much, but enough. Let's start building these guys then. I want them to be parallel, as close as possible. Yeah, how can I actually align those? Is there any way I could align these guys in any sort of meaningful way? No. But if I align them like... Yeah, we do it like this and hope for the best. And I cannot afford more. But the seed has been sown, or sown, I don't know. Um, anyway, what do we have? We have iron ingots and a lot of them. So we could dump the rest of the... No, not the ingots, but the actual ore. Okay, fair enough. Dumping the ore. There you go. How are you with the iron plates? 74. Oh, I am on the 100, so perfect. That alone fixes the problem greatly. Now you should be making the rods, if you don't mind terribly. Recipe iron rod. Thank you. And it has started to produce the rods. Beautiful. Because once that's done, I'm good to go. And then I need some more concrete so to be able to build the power lines all the way up to that resource which should be yeah and it will be making these offline while i'm away which is even better so hopefully this is the last unfruitful walk for the limestone next section should be to grab some much more needed stuff so Then we build out our foundation and just branch it off from there. The, the, the whole kick is that I want to do it while it's so small and while we don't have so many upgrades on our hands. Because later on rebuilding will be a bitch. So uh, 75, 17, yeah, we are progressing nicely. Okay, and I'm gonna build concrete and while this is building I'm also gonna be building my own. So concrete oh biomass yes maybe i should refill i'm gonna double check on that and concrete yes please i should build another portable miner probably at some point let me just check the fuel situation here 65 good enough now we've dumped what we had so concrete yes there we were we were talking concrete 
there you go and you cannot because you are in the breach yes so uh, damn you I'm gonna move you a little bit sorry you and you and you meaning everything will stop sorry so five foundation I have to eyeball it but if I would have to judge I'd go with there and then two tiles off is that no that's that should be on point I think let's see if I've eyeballed it correctly yeah, I mean, there is a minor gap, but that's something that I'm willing to live with, so, for the time being, so. Boo-hoo. Right. Uh, then we get back to the power poles that we have and reconnect them. Because without them there is no production, and without them there is no progress, so, sorry about that. Power line, yes. There we go. How much more concrete do I have? 19. Well, not as much as I was hoping for, but hopefully enough to build the power lines all the way up, up there, hopefully. Power pole, yes. Then you connect to that guy. Thank you. And then you shall go here and you shall connect to that guy yes see all is looking promising now and then you should be somewhere around here and you should be connecting to that guy and now in ideal case if I could just build four foundations I think I won't be allowed to four but Yeah, I cannot afford more. Fair enough. I'm going to grab some more and then I will be able on the next pass. And by that time we'll already have the possibility to take more. Yeah, there we go. That's some planning for you. And then we will be up top capacity. And the good thing is that now instead of copper, we are already producing uh, wires over there. So I just come up and pick up the resources and then we should be upgraded. And hopefully we have enough rods now. I'm going to top up these. How many rods? 76. Perfect. We can do another upgrade. Wonderful. Rods. And upgrade. Hub upgrade 4. Select the milestone. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature, additional biomass generator, new buildings, which can be found in the build menu. Yes, power line. Let's just connect you here so I don't get any bright ideas later on. To ensure full mastery of skills and equipment, I have been asked to not interfere with this last objective. Good luck. Yes, thank you. So, uh, concrete. Yes. And I don't have cable splitters yet, right? No. So let's concrete up this sucker a little bit and then I'm gonna move this production, I think. You don't have any more? What? What do you, don't you have? You don't have... Okay, fair enough. What am I short on? Rods or grab all? I'll need plates and rods. So I think it's only fair that you are not waiting for me please thank you and that you are you still have enough rods perfect recipes go back to plates thank you there we go 
while I'm there, I might want to be able to put additional power source. There we go. Feed the additional power source. So our capacity does go up. How am I with the concrete? Concrete, uh, uh, wait, I need to be able to make two miners. Yes, I have everything to do that, perfect. Three miners, yes I do, awesome. Then let's go and no dilly-dallying around it. Grab all and I'm picking up the miner. You grab all and I'm picking up the miner. Now, placing the miner mark one. I'm thinking something like that will be perfect. And if possible, let's disassemble everything nowadays. What's that? Grab all. What's these? Oh, reinforced iron plates. Yes, hold on. Let's do this. Uh, dump these, dump these, which I don't need. Dump these, which I don't need. And dump these, which I don't need. Then reinforced iron plates I will need. Five, concrete. Let's continue building. There we go. Much nicer. And of course I cannot afford because I don't have enough concrete because I'm a stupid asshole, but well, that happens. I need some more concrete to be able to build a miner. Yes. <clears throat> yes, uh, temporarily disassembled, just wanted to upgrade my production line and put it on solid feet. Uh, in hindsight, I should have probably gone with the iron miner, to be honest, first, but yeah. Nobody's perfect. Okay, so I have portable miner. That guy who is a miner should be satisfied quite well, I presume. And I just want to build my infrastructure a little more so I don't need to think about it again. So you'll pardon me if I'm not the quickest in those terms. I'm wasting power though, and which I'm very much aware, uh, aware of. So there we go. That's why I'm thinking the closer to this guy I get, the better. There we go. Okay, can't afford. Right, now let's build a smelter. And you shall be placed like that. No, like that. There you go. You shall be the power distributor of choice, going that way, that way, and then to the constructor that we had before. Just now it will line up properly and very nicely. So. I'm thinking somewhere along these lines, or actually I do want a little bit spacing between them, like that. I don't know how much spacing that is. Well, not much, but should be enough. There we go. And then you are connecting here. Perfect. That means you are, you are creating iron ingots and you are connecting making iron plates and I'm hoping that the production should be oh power line sorry there we go now everything should be running here 
How am I with the concrete? I'm little as as little as zeroed out. All right. Fair enough. That's one miner. I have two more miners to build, and I need more concrete. Lots of going back and forth, but oh, and the day is uh, day is quite nice actually. So the sooner I get this guy automated, the better I feel. So th this one should be among the second one I automate probably. And I just need to build a hold on. I just need to build a manufacturer here, actually miner and manufacturer. So it's not really that much of a problem. And you really need concrete iron rods and uh, reinforced iron plates. So yeah, two miner mark ones and one constructor, and that's not such a big deal. Alright, so concrete, we said, yes. I'm gonna make all the concrete because why not? Portable miner we have and we need reinforced iron plate. Iron plates, I have enough. Screws, I need enough to make three iron. Three reinforced iron plates, thank you. Alright, and then let's go and, oh, oh, I need iron rods as well. I could make some iron rods. There we go. Just to ensure that I have enough of them. Okay, so you're being built. That's nice. There we're going to place another constructor, which I think will help greatly our efforts to actually have some concrete. And then we'll need to go towards this building towards the storage. So let's just build like there we go that's enough and uh, hold on yeah I need to probably I'll need to remove something here or won't I come on E grab all pick up the miner I don't have the room for it ha huh. you don't say Okay, is there anything that I could uh, dump somewhere? Let's, if I build this guy, I will get rid of some things, at least. Invalid aim location. So, now it's no longer invalid. Now it's very much valid aim location. Thank you, constructor. You shall be powered. And your main line of business shall be concrete thank you now if you'd be so kind that I pick up this concrete troublemaker grab all thank you pick up the miner yes wonderful and then I'm gonna be placing a miner mark one hopefully if the terrain will allow it miner mark one yes it will and it even looks cool. Wonderful. Power line. We connect it. And then you belt are going to go right in there. And that in turn will fix our concrete automation, hopefully. And you're going right through there and it's bugging me as hell. I'll live. All right, so final one that we need to make nice, sort of. How much limestone do I have? I do have some limestone. Yeah, I have plenty of limestone, good. That means that I can make it manually and start making for the copper one as well to automate that one. Because then I have all the basic materials automated. How much do you make? 68. That's perfect. We're gonna start dumping things over there just to be on the safe side. You, uh, 100 plates, what do I, what do I don't need? Hmm. What do I don't need? I don't need that many plates. 
yes. Rods I could put in, the wire I could put in. Then I could actually make a lot of ingots myself and a lot of wire myself and uh, some concrete for the building over there, yes. I'm pretty sure I will have buttloads of wire waiting for me over there. So, wire. It needs 500 wire, so... It would take a substantial amount of time to build. But uh, let's go there and build ourselves a miner, shall we? Because then we have automated that flow as well. And currently my base is a little bit spread out, which I don't mind per se, because uh, eventually it will get a little bit less distributed. But yeah, hold on. Uh, you are making what? You, you could actually use some copper ore, right? Let's dump it. And you could give me some more wire. See? Ooh, that's a lot of wire. Who's been a good boy? These are methods which are primitive yet working. So, with that thing being said, let's build another miner. Mark one. Missing iron rod. You've got to be kidding me. And you're not kidding me because, well, yeah, I'm a dumbass. Okay, fair enough. Configure, let's put more here, sure. And concrete, I have a lot more than I need to, which means I could build a little bit, I could build out a little bit more. If I'll need at some point, but I would prefer that I build up my base, so to say. All right, well, this seems like a rather productive episode, I would say. I just need more iron rods, which will... So, iron ingots. Oh, iron rods, yes, I have lots of them. There we go. So, how's the build-up? Yes, of course, you are producing more than this guy can chug. I understand that, but I'll need the logistic splitters and makers to be able to address that in a good way. So you'll forgive me, but for the time being it's going to be crude yet doable. Of course, when I pave things and do it, them properly, this will not be a problem whatsoever. So. Yeah, you're okay to go like that somewhat, or somewhat like that. Now, where's the power line? There, going here. Thank you. And conveyor belt. I'm missing iron plates. Yeah, because I've picked them up all. Dum dum. I should have thought about that. And I think I'm making the iron plates over there, so hopefully that shouldn't be a problem. Let's pick up some more biomass, just in case we'll need to refuel. I'll need more iron plates, apparently. I don't know how many, though. I'm just gonna grab what I have here. Should be more than plenty. How much it, there is? 66. Well, that would meet this requirement at least. Which means you could start making iron rods, to be perfectly honest with you. So, recipes, iron rods, go back to making iron rods. Thank you. So, um... Iron plates, yes, I could make a few more iron plates, just so that I don't run out of them precisely when I go get there. I have a buttload of ingots. And I'm even thinking I'll probably just gonna make another smelter beside this one who will be smelting and doing this, the other thing.
the most effective thing would be to have a splitter but I don't have a splitter at the moment so it's due to the rework anyway so iron plates yes let's see how much do you have in cash oh very little ingots actually yeah I'm guessing but how many you have you have hundreds so yeah I should make ingots and then stuff you up so I should make hundred ingots and then stuck it up the factory's throat and hope that it would do me some good but that would take ages At least now the concrete, the wire and everything is being produced in a good enough volume, so I'm happy about that. Okay, here's some more ingots, so you have some in the dumpster. And let us go and uh, pave the way. And then we're gonna go and do the paving of the base itself as much as possible, of course because that will provide us a good grid to build upon uh, so you conveyor belt from here to here yes the production should be starting there you go look at that all right uh, but in the meantime maybe I have some copper ore already to give you something to work on perfect see that wasn't too difficult. Well, all right. I think that basically now that we have automated everything, that almost brings us to the end of this episode. And uh, let's just go and climb up for some pretty pick, shall we? Oh, this is not really impressive that much. Hold on. Can we get a more impressive view of what we have lovingly built and crafted? Come on, this cannot possibly be it. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so... Okay, guys, you know what to do. Like if you like the episode, hit subscribe for more satisfactory, let me know what you think of the end of course, I'm eager to hear your also suggestions for um, building a factory. I've been Groundforks and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching, this is Groundforks, signing off.